Here we presents the top 5 best camping tents. Starting at number 5, Big Agnes Fly Creek HV. The Big Agnes Fly Creek HV UL2 tent is a lightweight performance double wall tent that weighs in at a scant 37 ounces, including stakes. It performs well in a wide variety of conditions, but its weak point is that its pole structure doesn't hold up well in high crosswinds. It has some small feeling dimensions, so it's not for those who need to spread out when they get to camp. Because it's for moving fast and light, its weather resistance could stand to be more substantial as well. With an ultralight product comes less durability, and the Fly Creek is quite delicate. It pitches with a single integrated hub pole, and has top quality features such as partially solid nylon walls that block spindrift and help to insulate. This tent is quite small but is an excellent choice for two people who like to snuggle or a single hiker. Its comfort and weather resistance keep this tent from shining as a lightweight wonder. Big Agnes attempts to make the sidewalls of the tents less saggy, by attaching them to the guy points of the outer fly, but we still find that the walls sag in a bit, and the floor is lifted off the ground when the tent is taut, making the interior smaller. If two people are sharing this tent, they should be prepared to get cozy. The Fly Creek has a few small pockets that are adequate for stashing your things. The Fly Creek HVUL2 is a semi-freestanding tent. It has a single hub pole design that creates the front entrance, the back ridge pole comes down in the middle, and the back corners need to be staked out. It is not as easy to set up as a traditional two-pole freestanding tent, and it is difficult to get all sides taut with no sagging. The front or vestibule is particularly tricky to tension. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4. Teton Sports Mountain. I originally tested the Teton Mountain Ultra 1 and 2 tents, while backpacking with two friends over four weeks, and 328 miles on Washington's Pacific Crest Trail. I also tested the Mountain Ultra 2 tent on a short autumn backpacking trip in Alberta's Banff National Park. Both the one- and two-person sizes are designed with similar materials, colors, and construction. The tents are made largely of micro-mesh. The extra-high bathtub floors are waterproof. Inside, the tents have large removable attics, as well as two large organization pockets on the sides. A tent-specific footprint is included with the tents. Seams and corners are reinforced and heat-taped. Both the solo and two-person versions were much roomier than they appear from the outside. The one-person tent has enough headspace to allow sitting upright, and there's enough space along the sides, so our sleeping bags and pads didn't squish up against the side of the tent. In combination with the waterproof bathtub feature, the space eases any concerns of sleeping bags or pads getting wet against the side of the tent. The two-person tent felt like a little yellow mansion on a trail. On cold nights in Banff National Park, when temperatures dipped uncomfortably close to zero, we stayed comfortable inside the tent with plenty of space to hang out. Halfway of my listed number 3, MSR Hubba Hubba NX 2 Person. The MSR Hubba Hubba NX has been one of the most popular tents in the backpacking world for many years, and with good reason. It's a well-designed, lightweight, roomy, and durable tent that provides excellent protection in windy, wet weather. The symmetrical layout and your vertical sidewalls on the Hubba Hubba provide a lot of interior space for two hikers to sit up and hang out. In our opinion, the MSR Hubba Hubba is one of the most balanced backpacking tents on the market. The pack weight of the Hubba Hubba NX is 3 pounds 13 ounces. When the weight is split between two hikers, each will carry just under 2 pounds, which is pretty good. For two-person, freestanding, double-wall tents, this puts the Hubba Hubba among the lightest options, but not the frontrunner. We consider the Hubba Hubba NX as a mid-to-high-end tent. Some tents in its class cost more, and some cost less, but considering the Hubba Hubba's weight, quality construction, smart design, and durability, we think it's a great value buy. Pricing can change, so for current offers, check out these links to the Hubba Hubba NX at our favorite sellers, Ray, Amazon, Backcountry, Moosa Jaw, Campsiver. The Hubba Hubba's tent floor is constructed with 30 denier ripstop nylon. The denier refers to the thickness of the fabric, and 30 denier provides a good balance between weight and durability. The rainfly on the Hubba Hubba is made of 20 denier ripstop nylon, which is also a good choice for lightweight rainfly durability. The high-quality, sturdy pole set of the Hubba Hubba is built with DAC aluminum, yet another good choice. Coming in at number 2. Marmot Limelight 2 Person. 
The Marmot Limelight is a budget tent that comes with some excellent creature comforts. We enjoyed it quite a bit out of the box. It feels roomier than its dimensions would suggest, and its two large side doors make it easy to enter and exit. It has large, two-tiered storage pockets and comes with a footprint, which is a rarity in the backpacking tent universe. We think it is a tent that is made for car camping. It's a heavy tent and a bulky one at that. When compared to any tent in the top tier of this review, it becomes clear that the limelight is made from much lower quality fabrics, which impacts its weather resistance. This tent offers more comfort than it initially appears. Though on paper, its length is comparable to many other tents in this review, its width and peak height make it stand out from the rest. Two people could easily sit up in it at the same time, something that cannot be said for some ultralight counterparts. The limelight is relatively easy to set up. It has two long poles that cross at a central hub, as well as a separate cross pole that expands the headroom. The pre-bent poles can be slightly unwieldy, they like to rotate around the hub as you are sliding the segments together, but this is a minor annoyance. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. And number 1. Alps Mountaineering Lynx 2 Person. If you're looking for a one-person tent, you've likely stumbled across Alps Mountaineering's Lynx 1 model. It's one of the most popular tents on Amazon, and is also sold in outdoor stores like Ray and Cabela's. But, is it really the best one-person tent available right now? In this article, I'll answer this question. I'll give you a detailed review of the Lynx 1, as well as show you what makes a great tent and outline some of the Lynx's competitors. Before picking up the Alps Mountaineering Lynx 1, we must review what makes a desirable tent. There are a few facets you want to explore and identify before picking up a tent. First of all, make sure you identify how many people you're bringing. We'll talk more about tent size later, but remember that this is a one-person tent. There's no way you're fitting two people in this tent, unless you both really like to cuddle. Since you're looking at a one-person tent, you're likely going backpacking. If you're planning on car camping with one person, well, you can just sleep in your car. As a backpacking tent, you want this tent to be as lightweight as possible. The Lynx model definitely ticks this box, but there are a handful of other lightweight tents on the market as well. Whichever you go with, make sure you check out the tent's weight before purchasing. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button. Share with your friends. And be sure to subscribe.